Welcome to another video on modeling a flowable application. Today we will go over what a call activity does and how we can make use of its multi-instance properties to do something with the evaluations array that we created. First, go back to the evaluation process. If you don't have enough room to drag another activity after the team select user task, you can select the change position button found on the toolbar at the top of the editor, click somewhere between the team select task and the end event, and drag to the right. Once you have created enough space to fit another shape, drag a call activity element after the team select task and label it individual evaluations. The call activity will allow us to call another process or multiple processes from our evaluation process. We would like to call a process one time for each evaluator that we selected, so we will be making use of the multi-instance properties of the call activity. With our call activity selected, scroll down to the property multi-instance type and select parallel. This will result in all reference processes being called at the same time. It is important to select parallel for subprocesses with user tasks because if we were to pick sequential, users would have to wait for other users to complete their tasks before being able to move on to theirs. We will need to reference the evaluations array that we created in the last video in the collections field. To reference a process variable in any activity within a process, the dollar sign single curly brace notation must be used. We will also need to name the variable that will be used to reference each individual evaluation within the subprocess. So go ahead and call the element variable evaluation. The last multi-instance property we will need to fill out is the element index variable which will resolve to the index of each element of the evaluation's collection. We will keep this at its default name of loop counter. The element variable and element index variable will also need to be passed into the subprocess using the in variable mappings. Click on in under details and place these two variables in the source variable and target variable fields. Finally, we will need to create a process that is called by this activity. Click on Process Reference and create a new process named Individual Evaluation Process. In the next video, we will build up this subprocess and see how we can use the evaluation and loop counter variables that are passed in to reference elements in the evaluations array. Thanks for watching.